Hello, I am Jamal, a PhD student from the University of Tiar, Algeria. In this video, I will be presenting investigation of power losses and possible solutions for frequency control in multiphase interleaved DC DC boost converters. Regarding multiphase DC converters, our paper provides a detailed mathematical power loss model. It answers the questions of how frequency, multiphasing, and phase shifting affect efficiency in reality. By the end of our investigation, we were also able to discuss the possibilities of frequency control to minimize losses. To start this journey, we decided to entirely design and fabricate our own interleaved boost converter. The experimental trial and test, the fabrication of the used inductor, the PCB design of the different circuitries, assembling, soldering, and enclosing the resulted equipment all led us to create this well-functioning interleaved boost converter, designed by me, Ayad Ahmed Jamal, and my colleague Bedawi Yassin. For the microcontroller, we are using an SCM32 board and programming it in C++. Our work develops a detailed power loss model to analyze the frequency behavior of various lossy components. Based on our experiments, we found that the efficiency frequency curve isn't always parabolic when considering both CCM and DCM, contrary to many simulation studies. We also conducted experiments on three-phase and single-phase converters under various conditions, concluding that the impact of multiphasing on efficiency varies. It can be beneficial or not, depending on the situation. We observed that adjusting the phase shift under different operating conditions affect efficiency only in the worst-case scenario, where all phases were in parallel and the current ripple was at its maximum. We propose three approaches for setting the switching frequency. Fixing it at a predetermined value based on loss analysis, operating at PCM for application without strict ripple limits, or implementing real-time frequency control for efficiency optimization, such as extremium seeking control. However, as shown by our experiment, even small variations in switching frequency can cause transient response in average current, disrupting the system. Therefore, we advise against controlling the frequency during operating unless necessary. This was a brief overview of our ICON 2024 work and the more details can be found in our conference paper. Thank you for watching.